Here we are once again in the kitchen with your infamous chef, R-O-D, Chefs in the Hood. You know who we are. Today, we're going to bring you twice baked potatoes. You know what I'm saying? It's an awesome recipe. You could do it any way you want for dinner, for lunch, for breakfast. Um, normally, I could do it with like egg whites and stuff, but today, we're going to do it veggie style. Um, we got our potatoes over here. I already washed them, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all didn't have to see that part. And basically what you got to do is poke holes in your potato. You know, to get it ready for the oven. And then we're going to wrap them in foil. And then we're going to cook them for an hour. And then uh, as we take them out of the oven, um, we're going to scoop out the flesh. And we're going to fill them up with all these good veggies and herbs that we have here. Uh, we got some spinach. We got some cilantro. We got some broccoli. We got some uh, oregano, uh, thyme, and parsley. And some green onion as well. And um, not only that, I just want to mention. Um, you see this, ladies and gentlemen? Get, get that sticker right there. You see that sticker? You see the nine on that sticker? That means it's organic. That means we cook with organic veggies. We got organic food in the house. Chefs in the hood, baby. Put those potatoes in the oven for 45 minutes to an hour, and then we're going to pull them out and stuff them. We'll be right back with that. What we're going to do is um, we're going to go ahead and brush the potato or rub it with some olive oil, right? We're gonna get our potato oiled up. And um, of course I gotta wash my hands. And then we're gonna take a piece of foil. You know, people uh, always have a thing with foil. Um, the shiny side down, the dull side, one side causes cancer, the other side doesn't. I don't know how that works, because you know if it's foil, it's foil. But anyway, we're gonna hit our potato with some salt and pepper in our packet. You know, and this is after we got our holes poked on in it with the fork. We done poked our potato with the fork, got some holes in there. We oiled it, salt and peppered it. We're gonna put it in the oven for 45 minutes to an hour, and then we're gonna come back and scoop it out. We went ahead and took our herbs off the stems. As you can see, we got our thyme, we got some sage, parsley, dill, cilantro, oregano, I'm sorry ladies and gentlemen, and we did some sliced garlic. And I opted to do red onion instead of the green onion because we got so much greenery here, I decided to do the red onion. Um, you know, I wanted to kind of mix it up, add a little bit more color. So that's what we did. And then we also going to do a little bit of jalapeno. But what I want to do is, since I didn't show y'all me slicing, and all I wanted was a rough chop, and um, I wanted to slice a little bit more garlic, because we got four potatoes. So I just want to make sure it's uh, a good ratio. We're going to continue with our organic veggies. I'm going to take some of this jalapeno, not too much. We're going to clean it out. And um, we're going to get some of that for our baked potato as well. Although I took those seeds out, I definitely got to wash my hands thoroughly because I'm cutting this jalapeno. I don't want to touch my face or my skin. And, uh, you know... God forbid, excuse me, God forbid, if I touch my eyes or something, I, I wouldn't even be able to see. I'll be doing this video uh, blind right now. But, you know, I'm the chef in the hood, so you know I could do that. So, we got our potatoes out the oven. We unwrapped them, took them out of our foil package. And uh, they seem to be pretty good at a pretty good temperature. We let them rest for a minute. And what we need to do is start to hollow them out. So for presentation purposes, 
you know, what I normally do is I take a knife and I just score the potato. Just like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's not about that. All you want to do is be able to get inside the potato. And that's how you know it's done. I was able to pierce my knife straight through that potato. And then you want to scoop out the flesh. Is next. So I got a spoon here. And I dig in there. Look at that. See that? Scooping out the flesh of the potato. As you can see, I already started. We got some potatoes here that's been, that's been cooling. You know, don't look at that last potato. Yeah, I messed up. I told you, chefs in the hood, we not perfect. You know, what we do, we do. You know what I'm saying? But watch how we hold that potato together with some glue. And you know what that glue is? Cheese. All right? Hold that. So we got our potatoes chilling, they lounging, potato lounge, you know what I'm saying? So what we're going to do, we got some butter here melting, and then um, what we're going to do is just throw some of these herbs in the butter. Some thyme, some sage, some parsley, a little dill, just a pinch, because we're still going to use more. Cilantro, and I don't even remember what that was, ladies and gentlemen. My bad. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to also do a little bit of garlic. And we're just going to kind of stir that up just to kind of get some flavor. And then we're going to hit it with a little salt and pepper. We're going to stir that up. And what we're going to do is brush our potato skins, our hollowed out potatoes with this. So, we're going to take one of these potatoes and we're going to start brushing it. They nice and cool. And this is experimental, ladies and gentlemen. I, I really don't know if it's going to work. What I'm trying to do is crisp up the potato so when we stuff it, we'll have some crispiness and the softness, you know, just, just bear with me. But anyway, let's finish brushing our potato skin completely with our herb butter. We're going to get the inside too. So... Now we got our skins all glistening. You know what I'm saying? They looking all sexy. You know what I'm saying? They about to go in the oven for a tan. You know, so we're going to start heating up our skillet. And uh, we're going to start sauteing some veggies. We're going to put our uh, bell peppers in there and our onion and our broccoli. We're going to start sauteing that up. So we're going to get our skillet here. And uh, we're going to start sautéing our veggies because we want a little color on our veggies. And we're going to start with uh, onions and peppers. And we're going to start cooking that up. And then we're going to add our broccoli and spinach. And then we're going to also add all of that we scooped out of our potatoes. We're going to add that and try to get that a little crispy or whatever. Mix it up. Stick it back in our potatoes. Pop them in the oven with a little cheese. And um, see what we got. Let's go ahead and add our potato filling. I threw some herbs in there as well. You know, multi-flavored, mad flavors. We're going to go ahead and add that in there. And let that cook up. Try to get some color. Let's go ahead and add the rest of this chopped garlic while we add it. 
And uh, probably going to do a little bit more garlic because I love garlic. I got the sliced garlic over here. We're going to add our broccoli in a second. So just watch what we do. So I'm going to just go ahead and add our broccoli now. I'm going to make a little well just because I want to. You don't have to do this. And um, dump my broccoli right in the middle of that. And we're going to get that all mixed up in here as well with the rest of our veggies and our potato filling. Let's go ahead and add some spinach to it. Why not? Get all of that in there. And let's go ahead and add our jalapeno to it too. We're going to mix that up in there. A little chopped garlic. I told you I was going to use more. And uh, we're going to continue to let that cook. Our veggies look like they're cooked enough. So I'm just going to put it back in this bowl here for a second. Hopefully I don't drop nothing. Because if I do, I'm going to eat it. I can tell you that right now. If I drop anything on the counter, I'm going to eat it. I might not eat it off the floor. Not if y'all watching, but I'm going to eat it. So what we're going to do is throw a little bit of cheese in here. I got some cheddar, white cheddar and some mozzarella. I mean mozzarella, I'm sorry, white cheddar and that's uh, Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to stir that up. And this is going to go in our potato shells. So, we ready to fill our potato skins, our potato boats, our potato yachts, whatever you want to call them. But, you know what I was going to, what I'm going to do? Like I told you I had some glue or whatever. So, I'm just going to take a little bit of that cheese mixture and dump it in the bottom of the boat. We need a little more. We're going to dump that in the bottom of the boats. Or whatever you want to call it just so I can have a little more cheese and then we're gonna start putting our filling in I needed a smaller spoon because I want to make sure I get filling packed in each potato and I didn't say potato ladies and gentlemen it's not the hood shit potato Here we go. Get that all stuffed in there. Smashing in there real good. Real good. Smashing in there real good. You see what I'm saying, Sean? That's what we talking about. Mad cheese, son. So we just going to fill them up just like that. And then we're going to get them in the oven for probably another 30 minutes or so. And uh, they should be fully cooked. Let's load them up. So what I'm also going to do is hit our potatoes with a little cheese topping. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen, gods and earths, kings and queens, peace to the seeds. I don't know. What do you think? I think that's going to be fantastic. We're going to pop it in the oven for 30 minutes and uh, see what our finished product looks like at the end of it all. All right. So let's got we got our potatoes. Look at that. I think that's beautiful. I think our potatoes look great. I know I want to sit them out for a little bit, let them cool off. And then we're going to taste one of them little bad gals right there. Bad gal. You know what I'm saying? Not bad boy, bad gal. We're going to taste one of those in a minute. All right? So... 
Now we gonna get one of our look o' bad gals on the plate. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm stuck in that accent. I'm sorry. And it's probably terrible. But we gonna get one on the plate. Because like I said, they nice and cool down. And um, me, you know, I got all these herbs here. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit more herbs. Just because. And I got a little side of sour cream. Which I'm probably not going to use. But the sour cream is there. You know, we can also dump a little herbs in the sour cream. Stir it up. Whatever you want to do. Chef's in the hood, baby. And uh, we're going to cut this potato open. I don't know if y'all can see that. But you can see our potato is stuffed. All the way through. You know, I dropped my knife, but it's okay. Awesome. That's awesome. Look at that potato, ladies and gentlemen. You see the stuffing? Delicious. One more time, my chefs in the hood. You know how we do. Your infamous Chef R.O.D. Peace.